Hello and welcome to this tutorial on adding a plugin to your Moodle site. First of all, you need to log into your admin account on the Moodle site. From the site block, go to site administration. From here, select plugins. You get an option to either install a plugin or plugins overview. So right now we want to install a plugin. Here are two options. Either you can install the plugin from the Moodle plugins directory or you can upload a zip file of the plugin directly and install. So first of all, we will go to moodle.org forward slash plugins. On this site, you will find all the plugins for Moodle. In the search here, what are you looking for? You can type the name of the plugin if there is a specific plugin that you are looking for. Otherwise, you can also search according to the purpose. So suppose you have a purpose related to administration, assessment, collaboration, communication, content, interface. Whatever might be the purpose that you're looking an add-on for. You can select that. Suppose I'm looking for content related plugin. Here you will see a list of plugins that are available related to the content. For example, there is a light box gallery that you can have. Poodle filter, toggle preview and a host of other options are available. Sharing cart, slider, Exhibits ePortfolio, Restriction by Language. So depending on what you are looking for, you can use that plugin. Right now, I am looking for H5P. So I will directly search for H5P in the search bar. And here it is. Now, when you click on H5P, you can either install it directly or you can download the plugin and then install it through the zip file. Remember to choose the Moodle version that you currently have on your site so that you know whether the plugin is compatible with the Moodle version of your website or not. So I have 3.8 and as you can see, this plugin is compatible with all these versions of Moodle. So I will download. If you have to install it directly, you will have to be logged into the Moodle.org site. And if you are logged in, then you get an option to install now. So once you click on install now, it will start installing the plugin. The other method is to download the plugin and then upload it. So I will demonstrate how to do that. Here you click on download. Suppose you are not logged in. This is how you would do it. Uh, you would directly click on download. And once it has been downloaded, go back to your website for install plugin from the zip. Here, either you can drag and drop the zip file of the plugin from the folder where you have downloaded it or you can go to that folder by choose a file, upload a file, choose file to the path where you've downloaded it, select the file, open, upload this file and the file has been uploaded. So either you can open the folder and just drag and drop it to this box or you can choose a file from this path. Once it has been uploaded, click on install plugin from the zip file. The plugin validation was successful. Installation can continue. Click on continue. After this, it will give you a check 
if the server environment meets the requirements. Click on continue and then upgrade Moodle database now. So this is the step where the database will be upgraded with the files of the plugin that you are installing on your site. Click on continue. Here are the settings for H5P plugin and every plugin will have its own settings. If need be, you need to update them as per your requirement. I will let it remain to default and save changes. Alright, now when you will go to plugins and plugins overview, you will see that there is an additional plugin additional means that this was not the default plugin that came with the model so you have additionally added this plugin this h5p plugin that i just downloaded and installed is enabled and here are the settings so in future if you ever have to change the settings you can always go to plugins overview and change the settings or you can even uninstall it if you do not want to use that plugin here this is enabled and the settings have been set as we had set at the time of installation what h5p does is it is an activity plugin so we will go to the course we will go to the course and we will try to add an h5p activity so in the actions menu turn editing on choose the section or the module in which you want to add the activity here is section 2 add an activity or resource here you will see a list of activity or resources that you can add to your course that are available on your website. Now this is the interactive content for the H5P activity that I have just installed. Select and click on add or you can directly double click on the activity name. Add a description. Choose the activity that you want. For example, if I want a memory game, I will click on that get, install, use. Every activity will have its own details to be added and configured. So you can go through the settings which are very specific to every activity and then just save and return. To the course you will see the activity has been added now you can always go back click on edit edit settings and uh, go back and update the settings as and how you want all right so this is basically how you add a plugin to your website if you have any questions regarding the same, please write to me in the comments. And please subscribe to the channel for more such video tutorials. Thank you very much.